Christian Eriksen suffered the cardiac arrest during Euros match and was gone before resuscitation, doctors say. CNN Christian Eriksen was gone before being resuscitated from cardiac arrest, Denmark's the team doctor said at a press conference Sunday. The Danish soccer player collapsed on the pitch during his team's opening Euro 2020 match against Finland. Well, what should I say? She was gone, and he did cardiac resuscitation, and it was a cardiac arrest. How close are we? I don't know, said Morten Boesen. We got him back after one deep fit. So that is quite fast, the team doctor added, referring to the defibrillator, defibrillator used to revive Ericsson. The details, I'm not a cardiologist, so the details about what happened and further, I will leave to the ex expert. Ericsson sent greetings to <coughs> his Danish teammates from hospital where he is recovering after falling on the pitch shortly before half time. This morning I have spoken to a Christian Eriksen who has sent his greetings to his teammate. His condition is stable and he continues to be hospitalized for further ex examination, the Danish Football Association said on Sunday. The match was suspended following prolonged efforts from the medical staff to resuscitate Ericsson with the CPR and the defibrillator. Denmark players gathered as paramedics attended to midfield Christian Ericsson not seen during Saturday's match. UFR later announced that the match would resume. When the match restarted, Finland won 1-0 thanks to the 59th minute goal from Joel Fohan Palo. We would like to thank everyone for the heartfelt greetings to Christian Eriksen from fans, players and, and the royal families from both Denmark and England, international associations, clubs. ETC. The Danish FA also said in Sunday's statement. Denmark coach Kasper Hujulmund said that Eriksen wanted his teammates to play and that he was more concerned with his teammates and his family. The 29-year-old midfielder currently plays club football for Inter Milan moved to the Serie A, Serie A side in 2020 after seven years with Tottenham Hotspur in the English Premier League. The important thing is that he's well, but there have never been any as episodes that even remotely had hinted at a problem. Neither when he was at Tottenham nor at Inter. In Italy, controls are very rigorous. Inter Milan team doctor Piero Bolfi told the Gazzetta Tello Sports Sunday. Christian Eriksen is featured during Saturday's match between Denmark and Finland shortly before he collapsed on the pitch. Inter Milan chief executive Giuseppe Marotta said Eriksen has never had COVID-19 and was never vaccinated. We don't want to be intrusive because it's right for the player to be calm. He is a champion, he told the Italian television channel Rai Sport according to Reuters. The Danish talisman, who has more than 100 caps for his country, came through the youth ranks at Ajax and started his professional career with the Dutch club. Denmark next played Thursday against the Belgium. Hirju Mound added that he will try to get the team back to a normal routine on Monday. Christian Eriksen, I love you. After he collapsed, Eriksen's Danish teammates formed a wall 
around him to protect the Intervilla star. From view he as he was receiving treatment, players from both teams as well as fans in the stadium were visibly distressed as Ericsson was being attended to by medics. In Group B's other match, Romelu Lukaku opened the scoring for Belgium over Russia and ran over to the camera <coughs> to send a message of support to his inter teammate Chris Chris Stacktag Johan. Dutch for wish you strength all the best. I love you, he said. Lukaku, who scored the second goal late in the game, told the journalist in his post match interview that he cried a lot and was scared when he first heard the news of Ericsson's collapse. I spent more time with him than with my family, so my thoughts were with him, his girlfriend, his two kids, and his family, he added. In Goyang, South Korea, Ericsson's former teammate Son Heung Min scored, <coughs> scored a goal in his, his team's 2-1 victory over Lebanon in a World Cup qualifier and shout to Christian Eriksen, I love you, according to a tweet from his club Tottenham. Other goodwill messages from around the world floated the social media. Harry Kane, the England captain and the former teammates of Ericsson, sent his love to the Danish talisman and his family in a tweet to Saturday. Stay strong, mate, said Kane, who will be playing in his first game of Euro 2020 Sunday afternoon. Saturday's incident was reminiscent of of Fabrice Mwamba's collapse in 2012 after the footballer suffered a cardiac arrest during Bolton's FA Cup match against Tottenham. Mwamba eventually recovered but had to, had to cut his playing career short. Please God, Mwamba tweeted. Following Ericsson's collapse, all of our thoughts are with Christian Eriksen and his family, Eriksen's former club Tottenham tweeted. While his Inter Milan teammates actually young wrote, please bro, please. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge paid tribute to the medics who ran in onto the pitch to help Eriksen and to referee Anthony Taylor, who stopped the game immediately. Encouraging news is about Christian Eriksen. We are all thinking about him and his family. Well done to the medical team and Anthony Taylor for, his, for their calm and swift action. Swift action said a tweet from the lawyer's official tweet account, signed off W. Matthias Grass and Nada Peschel contribute to this report. <coughs>